And uh, we're going to go now to Chief Meteorologist Paul Barris. You know, Paul, we were watching Mary Frances Hoots live at the old ballpark a few minutes ago with that lookout story. It made me want to get the old mitt out and, you know, do a little throw and catch today. It's perfect. <laughs> I haven't used my right arm for throwing in so long. I don't know if you'd probably be sore for weeks <laughs> after that. But it would be a great idea. That's true. All right, the jet stream, we got the weather for it, too. It's going to be uh, warming up again for tomorrow. Again, and uh, today's been warm. Tomorrow's going to be warm with that southwesterly flow. And then coming up on Saturday, the jet stream's going to be doing a little curly cue right in here. That's across the Mississippi Valley. What's going to do is that's going to really start spinning a low pressure system, and that's going to create the rain showers that are going to be moving this way. But you see, <clears throat> this little curly cue is further off to the north. So most of the action is going to be off to the north of us in the form of snow. Right now, there's some rain snow out into the Rockies, and that's about it. There's not that much. You can see it on the satellite photo even better. And these are a lot of high clouds spreading in across the Great Plains. This is the beginning of a storm system that's going to create lots and lots of snow out into the Midwest and into the Great Lakes. Currently, it's 66, 64 in Dalton, 63 in Cleveland, and Murphy is at 60. So there are no complaints about these temperatures, like southeasterly winds, too. So the complaint department is closed for today. 67, 34 for the high and the low. Pretty close to our forecast, worked out well. And Skywatch has called in and we're bragging about their highs. Somerville got up to 70 today, while Fort Payne and Calhoun at 68, Dalton was 67, even into the mid 60s from LJ all the way up to Blue Ridge. Right across the metro area, Cleveland mid 60s, Ottawa was 67, so is Red Bank. Right here at Channel 3, we hit 68, while Trent got nearly to 70, 69 there. Look, I'm out in 60, and Gwen Tugman, was, she was just thrilled about this. 62 up on Signal Mountain, that's pretty good. And then mid to upper 60s again from Pikeville all the way to Dunlap, down to Jasper. Mid 60s out in your Altamont, low 60s Turtletown. Mid 60s uh, downtown Murphy and 67 Delano. 67 also in Etowah along Highway 411. Southerly winds continue uh, through tonight and tomorrow. Winds will be light tonight, though. Here comes the rain, though. That all changes coming up. In the Saturday, we'll see those showers start to spread our way. But you notice it shrinks. So there's not as much coming up into the morning and the early afternoon. Then it's out of here uh, by 5 o'clock, and some drier weather starts to move. Another little wave will come in, though, into Sunday night. And into Monday morning, we could see some showers. But we're not thinking a lot, only about maybe a tenth to a two-tenths. And here's where the big snow is going to be, up under the Great Lakes and the Great Plains. 40 tonight, clear skies tomorrow. 68 mostly sunny tomorrow night, 50 with a few more clouds, but still dry. Seven day forecast, that rain 50-50 chance Saturday. Sunday could have a few breaks in the clouds, 58. Uh, late Sunday night we'll see some rain and into Monday morning see some rain. Tuesday 53, another batch of rain comes in Wednesday and it's going to be a lot cooler next Wednesday and Thursday.